Hey everyone, Sam Sagas here. I hope you're well. A little bit dusty today. I'm uh, out last night having some Christmas cheer. But uh, I wanted to talk you through the 4X growth plan which I teach. And I'm in an example of where that 4X growth plan went so well. I'm actually visiting my sister who lives in a property um, that I own. But when I bought this property, the market was really weak. It was right at the GFC. And just across the road there, there's some double story apartments. They're like 100 square meters internal and two stories. And I paid circa $400,000 for those properties. So when I bought it in the GFC, they were valued at 500, but I paid 400. So I got a discount and I bought at the time. So the Forex growth plan is four types of growth. So the first type of growth was what we call deal growth. I got a deal and I made money. Now, a lot of people get a deal and make money from a deal, but they forget the other three growth elements. So I'm going to show you some logic around the other growth. So the second form of growth I got in this suburb where I bought Dulwich Hill was gentrification growth. It's kind of the big L, location, location, location. The cool thing about this neighborhood is it went through gentrification. It kind of became hip and a lot of people with new money came to town. And gentrification is more the replacement of economics. New people with higher incomes favored the suburb and come to it. So I got deal growth, I got location growth. Then of course the Sydney market grew, which is market growth. And then I got the fourth type of growth, which is behavioral growth. At the end of the street, the tram or light rail came to Dulwich Hill. This behavior created mobility for people who live in Dulwich Hill. So all four sections of growth came to this property and it went on to not only double in value, but even surpass doubling in value in about eight years time. So it took eight years to double. We can just might pick up the tram going past right now. There it is. Now the cool thing is with the Forex growth plan, if you get it right, it starts again. So how does it start again? Well, it starts with deal growth. Remember that the process goes sort of like deal growth, location growth, market growth, behavioral growth. So behavioral economic growth. So what happened was the area started to get new properties and of course new properties being produced at a much more expensive square meter rate. In other words, to build new costs more than to buy second hand. So these apartments, which are directly across the road from where my property is at, is now for a two bedroom in there is around a million dollars. So my property is circa $850,000. So now I'm back to deal growth. How do I work through deal growth? Well, I can't get a discount because I already own it, but what I can do is renovate. So if I was to spend about $40,000, I can actually tap another $100,000 out of the property, which I want to do, but my sister lives there at the moment. So now I've gone through the 4X growth plan and I'm back to square one, deal growth.